Today, we call a woman who's a rare type. Okay. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like going out to restaurants or oh. to big sporting events or concerts. Mm-hmm. No, she prefers spending her time at the library. Oh, oh. okay. okay. According smart. to her partner, Steve, she checks out books all the time and really loves it. The only thing she doesn't like is the city recently reduced the hours that they're open. Oh. Which, I mean, seriously, oh. it is not easy to get to the library these days. Made her very upset. Now the city's about to make another major change that she's probably not going to love. You're going to oh. hear it in your phone tap right now. Hello? Hi, is this Abigail? Yeah, speaking. Hi, Abigail. This is Dave from the Public Library. I hope it's okay that I give you a call. I just found your number in our system. Uh, sure. What is this about? Well, I know that you're always one of our best, most loyal patrons, and... We're really appreciative. You always return books on time every week. We wanted to thank you for that. Uh, oh, of course. Now, of course. we do need to speak with you about some changes that are going to be coming down the pike over here. What kind of changes? Well, as you're aware, the city is in a little bit of a budget deficit again. Yeah, probably for the 28th year in a row. They can't seem to get anything right. Yeah, you know, that is fair. They don't manage their money very well. But as you know, the library does fall under the city umbrella. And so while we will not be upping the late fees like some people have I always proposed, return my books on time anyway. Right. No, I understand that. I'm just saying starting next month, we're going to be instituting a cover charge similar to a bar or a club. Excuse me, a what? A cover charge. What does that mean? Have you not been to a bar or a club? I guess you you go to the library, so probably not. It's none of your business, frankly. Can you just elaborate? Well, so if you have a book that you've reserved, let's say, and you just want to walk inside, that'll be $7 at the door. $7? Well, $10 on the weekends because, you know, Saturdays and Sundays are our most popular days. What kind of half-witted idea is that? We just we need to find a way to supplement the deficit because we don't have enough money to stay open. So you're going to punish people for going to the library? Uh, no, not punish. We're going to charge people, not hit them. This is not okay. You cannot charge people to go into the library. I'm there every week, and I wouldn't pay a quarter to get in. You're right. You wouldn't. You'd have to pay $7 or $10 on the weekends. Hey, smart ass. That was just an example. I wouldn't pay a cent. Well, good, because we wouldn't accept cents. We would only do... Uh, I got we'd it. We'd only accept credit cards. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. You just you seem a little bit upset. Yes, of course I'm upset. I go to the library every week. I take books out every week. I return them every week. Okay, I... Now you're telling I, me I, I need I've to heard, pay you to come into the library? Yeah, exactly. I've heard all that already. I'm just trying to relay this information to you. Well, it's unacceptable. Well, you need to accept it because it's happening. I will not accept it. You know what? I'm going to let you think about it for five seconds and then check it back in with you. It does not matter how long I think about Four, this. It is unacceptable. Three, two, one. Have you accepted it now? No, I have not accepted it. Well, because is there a manager I can talk to? I'm the last employee who works here. So What? You know what I'm going to do for you? If you come in today... I'll knock a dollar off of your cover charge. I already told you $6. I will not be paying to come into the library. It's only going to be $6. Do you accept it? Give no, me five seconds. You... Five, Edie, I four, do not accept it. three, two, one. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you? All right, I'm knocking it back up to $7. I'm sorry. The deal has gone away. I don't even know what to say. Also, I don't really know if this matters at this point, but in an effort to connect with the younger generations here, we're going to be rebranding and no longer call this the library. That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. We're going to be calling it D's Books. This has to be a joke. That's books with a Z. There is no way that you or the city or anyone in this world could come up with an idea this asinine. Well, you're right. It wasn't me or the city, but your partner Steve might be asinine to come up with it. Oh, my God. Yeah, your partner Steve emailed our show, Brooke and Jeffrey, in the morning, and he said he wanted us to do a prank phone call on you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you get it. Steve said that you love the library so much and you really hate change. So he wanted us to mess with you, and we thought, oh, okay, well, maybe we can combine both. Oh, yeah, you had me going. That had to be the dumbest idea I ever heard charging people a cover with the library. These books? I don't even know what's happening right now. You know, me either, honestly. I'll see you at the library, all right? I hope so. Probably in the self-help section, okay?